In a previous video, I promised that the, the Friedel Crafts acylation would help us solve some of the problems of the Friedel Crafts alkylation. So, so let's, let's look at a problem. Let's say we want to make that molecule. And you think, hey, no problem. You got a benzene ring. You have an alkyl group, a propyl group off that benzene ring. Let's do a Friedel Crafts alkylation. And to do that, we would react benzene with aluminum trichloride. Normally I put that on the bottom of the arrow, but I mess it up, so I'll swap them around. We treat this with uh, propyl chloride and aluminum trichloride, and we will get this structure, we think. But the problem is, remember, the Friedel Crafts alkylation goes through carbocations and carbocation intermediates, that the carbocation, the propyl carbocation, is going to rearrange. We will not see that product. We will see the hy hydride shift arising from that carbocation, and we're instead going to get this branched alkyl chain. Still a propyl, but it's an isopropyl instead of a, an n-propyl. So the Friedel Crafts alkylation is not the way to make this molecule that we want to target on the left-hand side of the screen. So let's try the acylation instead. Now the acylation, we're going to treat this benzene ring. Instead, we're going to have three carbons, but it's going to be an acid chloride. If we go through the mechanism that we've seen before of the Friedel Crafts acylation, we're going to get this product. Now, before I declare victory and say, hey, the Friedel Crafts acylation saved the day, you'll notice We've put a ketone in our chain, and we don't have that ketone on the left in our, in our desired product. So the only way the Friedel Crafts acylation can help us out is if we have a way to get rid of this ketone. And in fact, there are two reactions that can do this. They're both reductions. They're going to reduce the ketone all the way down to the alkyl group, which is what we want in our desired product. So let's see both those reactions very quickly. So one is called the Clemenson reduction. They're both reductions. And in the Clemenson reduction, we take simply any ketone, any aryl ketone, and I'm going to use the ketone that we just showed above, but it, you can have other R groups. They don't have to all be a three carbon chain. And we're going to treat this with HCl and something called zinc amalgam, kind of the zinc mercury mixture. And if that sounds weird, I agree. It kind of is weird, but it's what you need to do the reaction. And you cook this up, and what happens is you remove, you reduce that oxygen right out of the molecule. So that's one way to go. That's a Clemenson reduction. There's another reaction. It's called the Wolf-Kishner reduction. And for the Wolf-Kishner reduction, we're going to start with the same molecule. And again, it doesn't have to be this exact molecule, but I'm going to use the ketone that we made in the middle of the screen. And we treat this with a something called hydrazine, which is actually used in some rocket fuels. Hydrazine and a strong base, and we heat it. And friend, we don't just heat it. We heat the daylights out of it, the dreaded double delta. So we're going to cook this thing super duper hot. And the result is we remove the oxygen right out of the molecule and we get our desired compound. So using the Friedel Crafts acylation in conjunction with either the Clemenson reduction or the Wolf-Kishner reduction allows us to put straight chain alkyl groups on a benzene ring and avoid the problems of carbocation re rearrangement that we saw with the Friedel Crafts alkylation.